US alone, up to one billion birds die through bird window collisions each year. And most of the species that collide in large numbers are native uh, migratory species like warblers, uh, native sparrows, orioles, thrushes, and many of these species have populations that are in decline uh, for a variety of reasons. I'm Scott Loss. I'm a professor in the Department of Natural Resource, Ecology, and Management at Oklahoma State University. We published research showing that uh, the markers reduce bird window collisions by approximately 70 percent, um, and that was one of the big uh, reasons to, to go forward from that smaller scale study to, to propose these bigger treatments on some of the problematic buildings here. Past research has shown that uh, birds are colliding with buildings because glass causes reflective effects where birds see surrounding sky and surrounding vegetation. They fly towards the glass um, without realizing the glass is there and then they collide obviously. So the film and the, or the markers you see behind me are designed to break up the transparent and reflective effects of glass. And research has shown that the ideal or optimal spacing for the elements on glass is two inches vertically by two inches horizontally. That um, if it's any wider, if the elements are any wider spaced than that, then uh, birds may still try to fly through to the empty spaces in between. So that explains the spacing of the dots. So one of the really unique aspects of the, the OSU investment in these uh, feather-friendly marker treatments is they not only made the investment to put up the markers, but they also contributed to um, funding research to support a master's student in NREM to actually study the effectiveness of the feather-friendly markers. My name is Riley Lawson. Uh, my degree is uh, Natural Resource Ecology and Management, and my title is Graduate Research Assistant. Now that we've installed these films, I'm essentially doing the same type of study where I'm also uh, walking around campus at different buildings every day and uh, counting the number of collisions that occurred uh, in the morning. And I'll be comparing uh, the numbers that I have to the numbers from that previous study uh, essentially to test how effective this film actually is. You know, you have to pause and think for a second about how, you know, a billion birds every year in the U.S. alone is a, is a huge number. Obviously these uh, treatments with the feather-friendly markers here at Noble Research Center and Gallagher IBA are just a major part of that, showing that OSU is really serious about addressing this issue. I'm very optimistic here that at OSU that um, we're taking a serious lead in not only researching the issue of bird window collisions, but now making um, a major example for taking action to address the issue.